Now, checking in on this major agricultural conference that's happening in Canberra today. Joining us live now is Peter Gooday. He is the Chief Commodity Analyst at Abaris. Peter, thank you for your time. The important information today we're getting is a picture of what kind of impact the drought has had on the agriculture economy. Also, we're starting to get a look at what kind of impact the coronavirus is going to have. Sure, yeah, so the... The impact of the, the drought and bushfires and the, the trade wars been, um, has been substantial, but perhaps not as much as what we would have thought. So we're thinking the, the value of agricultural production will fall by about 5% this year to $59 billion. Um, a lot of that is um, in the cropping sector. Um, we've had uh, high, high turn-off of livestock for a few years now with, with poor conditions, and that combined with um, high livestock prices has meant that the value of production hasn't fallen by as much as we would have expected. Um, if we get some better seasonal conditions uh, next year, which is certainly the expectation, then uh, we're looking at an increase uh, next year, a pretty quick rebound in, in grains and oil seeds production, but that uh, cattle and sheep production will take um, a while uh, to increase, um, basically because people will be looking to rebuild their herds and flocks once um, pasture starts to grow again. So. Um, a gradual um, increase once conditions return to normal. What kind of impact is this having on individual farm incomes? So the farm income story is pretty mixed. So um, in New South Wales, for example, uh, farm incomes are as bad as they've been in the last 20 years. So we're expecting farm incomes this year in New South Wales to be close to zero. Um, so that's, um, you know, as a result of the substantial drought they've been in, not just this year but several years. Um, in Victoria, uh, it's basically the opposite is true this year. So uh, in Victoria, farm cash incomes are going to be as high as they've been for the last 20 years. Again, um, because of uh, good seasonal conditions there, uh, combined with the good prices for, um, for livestock. And when we look at the impact of coronavirus, uh, we've been doing quite well in Australia with uh, pig exports to China in particular because of the African swine flu. Have we lost that advantage now? No, so the, the, um, the price premium for meat products is still, is still there because of um, African swine fever. So that's one of the reasons why the value of production hasn't dropped as much as it could have. Um, so that's, that's still there. The Chinese are still needing to to import meat to make up for the, the substantial reduction they've had to make in their um, pig herd. Um, but it's true that the coronavirus has had an, an impact on some of the very high value products that Chinese consumers um, consume when they, when they go out. So we've seen an immediate um, impact for things like uh, rock lobster um, and wine, but you could also expect it for some of the, you know, the really high quality beef that's served in restaurants um, because of the the movement restrictions in China means that you know, consumption of those things is obviously down and then there's also the congestion at ports just because of the, the fact that things within supply chains have been shut down. So we're, we're assuming in our forecast that the coronavirus impacts don't extend into next financial year um, but they will have an impact this year. Of course if the, if the virus um, lasts for longer then you know, the demand outlook starts to look worse. Yeah, absolutely. And um, just I found it interesting with um, the sheep uh, commodity as well. Do we have the worst sheep uh, figures in Australia since 1904? Yeah, so the, the, the sheep flock is at its lowest level since 1904 uh, and that's, uh, that's due to the drought the last couple of years. People have been uh, destocking. Um, fortunately, they've been getting good prices. Um, so prices have been sort of at record highs. Uh, so that's one offsetting factor. But yeah, uh, beef cattle herd at its lowest level since 1990 and the sheep flock at its lowest level since 1904. What has had a worse, or what is going to have a worse impact, I should say, on the agriculture sector, the drought or coronavirus? Well, the droughts, had, the droughts had a substantial impact that will last for several years. Uh, we'll see that in the next couple of years with meat production being low. So unless the virus gets a lot worse, the, the drought's certainly um, the major influencing factor on Australian agriculture. 
Peter Gooday, thank you for your time live there from the Abaro's conference.